Hey everyone, it's Tristan from Crafting Worlds. Did you know that there's a community associated with Crafting Worlds? You can join our Discord. The link is in the description below. Hope to see you there. Anyway, let's talk about today's keyboard. It is the Epomaker HE80 Magnetic. If you couldn't tell from the HE, meaning Hall Effect. This is a 75% layout keyboard. It has a very similar look to their inductive switch keyboard, It's but it's not. It's just using a Hall Effect switch. So let's take a look. So here it is. Uh, before we get into that, I'd like to show you what's in the box. I already took everything out for you. So, all right. We've got some extras. We've got the cable. Nice braided cable. We've got some extra switches, which are just fantastic. And we have a keycap puller. And we have extra keys. These are for your modifiers. And I will do in the sound test a difference of what this sounds like versus what this sounds like, because there is a big difference. And if you don't like the sound of this, this will make it better. This is a little more hollow. This is a little more solid. And that's it. That's all that comes in the box. It, this is like the simplest review ever, because honestly, this is a very good Hall Effect keyboard. This is an AK Hall Effect keyboard with no wireless, no Bluetooth. You have to have it plugged in. So right off the bat, I might lose some of you and that's okay. I just thought I would tell you right now. Now, visual wise, I think it looks really nice. It has this nice little indicator over here. It has the 75% layout that people are used to. It has a little bit of a gap between the arrows and the enter, which I appreciate because very often when they pack these things really tight and they don't give it that like breathing space. Let me get really close to that. Yeah, you see how there's like a little bit of breathing space right there? When that doesn't exist, I tend to smack this by accident instead of instead of hitting enter or vice versa. And if I'm trying to code or do special moves in a game, I'm just, I'm doing the wrong things. And it's usually in my inventory and it usually makes me mess things up. Now, as you can see, the clear keys look great. It is south facing RGB. The RGB is very bright. The keys are PBT double shot, I believe, and they are in the cherry profile. Overall, very well built. So if you look at the back of it here, let me unplug it so I don't trigger anything. Okay. So if you look at the back of it here, you've got two different feedies. But before we even talk about that, check this out. Rubber, rubber, giant rubber, giant rubber. I really like what they did here with the giant rubber and the giant rubber because this does not go where you don't want it to go on your desk. So that's fantastic. Then you've got the small feedies, which also have a little bit of rubber and they're black. So it's not going to pick up too much crap over time. Let's see if they pass the test. Ah. So the one little downside of them being rubber feeties is that not always do they stay up. So the push test, if you're like having dinner at your desk, is not going to work with the small ones. Let's check the large ones. Oh, you know what? Because of the height, it did not. I actually like the angle it's on already. I have no reason to use the feeties. I like this very much. I really like these switches. They are the Mag Magnex switches, Hall Effect. They have a good feeling. They're not too scratchy. One thing I will say is they do have a little bit of wiggle. Little bit of wiggle. I am used to now, though, the iQnix board, and we'll get to that in another review, but oh my God, talk about no wiggle. So I'm a little bit spoiled, and this definitely has some movement. So if, if I don't know, in terms of, the movement I've felt, this is not bad. Also, the elephant in the room, check this out. $62, okay, on sale. Also, if you go to the Amazon deal right now, it's $55. So this is a very affordable 75% layout keyboard. And we haven't seen one of these in a while, especially for this price. And that has web software. So let's plug this in real quick and show you the web software because it's actually really good. So connecting, boom, done. No lag, no nothing. So you've got your normal key remapping, extended characters, special characters. So you can remap everything. 
Then you have your lighting settings and they have their presets, but then you have your custom. So you can do per key RGB. So you can pick what you want and be like, okay, I want that to be that and that to be that and that, 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 et cetera, et cetera. So that's very nice. I really like that they do per key RGB. For me, if you're going to have RGB on a keyboard, then you should make per key RGB. You have a macro manager, of course. You have the performance, which is your trigger distance and fast trigger. So if you click here and you fast trigger that, and then you can set the sensitivity. So fast trigger is like the rapid trigger is what I'm getting. I, I am pretty sure. Um, you can also recalibrate the board, by the way. But yeah, it fast trigger is basically rapid trigger. They just named it differently. I don't know why everybody keeps renaming stuff. Just keep it one name, rapid trip or snappy tap. Like, which one is it? Ooh. So anyway, that rant aside, rapid fast trigger is rapid trigger. Very easy to adjust. Um, and it does explain it quite well here. And then if you want to recalibrate your whole thing, you can do it there. And it's very easy. Uh, advanced keys. So you have rapid snappy, which allows you to do those two keys and it explains it. Look at that. And then you have SOCD. It also explains it. Dynamic key travel also explains it. Dual effect also explains it. Toggle switch also explains it. But like when you go into it, it also has a nice explanation. Mind you, we could boost the, the size of the text here, like the sizing. I actually can't. The Windows sizing doesn't work very well with this. Uh, but yeah, that could be a little bit bigger. Honestly, you could make this a lot bigger because like, oh God. So I guess I could do it bigger like that. Um, but yeah, it's a, the text is, if I had any feedback, the, the text just needs to be a little bit bigger. So you have all the really cool features of a Hall Effect keyboard in a good package. You have a nice dark. Oh, thank Jesus. You have a dark theme in here. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see this earlier. And you can also update your thing here. And yeah. Oh yeah. That's so much nicer. It's interesting that the keyboard stays light, but the everything else stays dark. So if I were to go in here, right? So let's select all. I like 2.3 for typing. Okay. And now is it going to show me? Yes. Yeah, so each key, I don't know if you could see it because this is my one and only like gripe with this software. It is so hard to see what's on there. I promise you guys, it says 2.3 if you can't read it. But oh my gosh, that is so tiny. So Apple Maker, I think the only thing you really need to do here, uh, your software is fast. It applies things very quickly. It has everything we need. It has very good descriptions, but I believe you should make the font and text size much larger on these. It is very hard to see what's going on. But I mean, even the little tiny, you can see the rapid trigger that I sent on W. But yeah, this is... This is very hard to read, especially if you're not in a super wide monitor setup. Like if you don't take up the whole screen with your with your web browser, it, that's impossible to read. Nobody can read that. I, I can't read that. That's nope. And I'm at I'm at 200 percent. This is this is 100 percent. Oh, my Lord. Like, no, that's just not that's not legible. So anyway, software good. Keyboard pretty sound test time. I mean, for a Hall Effect board, like no Hall Effect sounds like a mechanical keyboard, right? But they're starting to close that gap. And I feel like for a $55 keyboard or $60 not on sale, this is really punching real high. I found that during gaming, I wasn't getting double presses, not on the space bar. I wasn't getting weird things with my rapid snappy tappy rapid triggery. 
uh, everything just seemed fine. Mind you, I am not a competitive gamer, and I always say this, is that I just play, I play games a little bit differently. I play Dune Awakening, right? But I like to be able to move quickly, and I like to have that control. So I tend to like the Hall Effect keyboards for gaming. I do want to show you the website with the breakdown a little bit, just for a second. So here it is, the 60... $62.99 or $69.99, or if you go to Amazon, $55.99 during this Prime sale. And you've got the Apple Maker Mag X Switch. And this is something interesting that I've never noticed. It has a one, two, three year warranty option. I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, that's also different. Um, yeah, 75% key layout, gaming keyboard hall effect, 8K polling. Feels very good to me. It's very hard for me to tell the difference between like if there's like a 0. 0.00000 millisecond, you know what I mean? Like all of them feel good to me unless they're bad, unless they're getting double, you know, hits or double presses. I didn't get that creamy gasket mount design. Oh yeah, that's, you know what? I didn't show you this. So a lot of Hall Effect boards do not give, but watch this. Like there is significant give on this compared to other boards that I have that are Hall Effect. There is a little bit of bounce, which I kind of like, I know a lot of people are like, no, give me the stiffest board possible. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. I get it. You know, you're boxing your matches, but for someone who is a little bit of a casual gamer, but also likes to have that hall effect, sometimes I like for my wrist and fingers not to break while I'm playing. So I like that. It's a bonus. And this one has done me well. I haven't had any issues with it. No hiccups. And overall, the sound didn't bother me. It wasn't my favorite sound, but it wasn't bad. And it's also, these keys can be swapped out. So feel free to put in your favorite keys, calibrate it as you wish, as you saw on the software. And I think you have a really solid board here. The pros really are, it's the design right off the bat. It just looks unique. I always, I liked the one they did with their inductive switches. I thought this was a very cool design, but it was heavy, right? And so this is plastic and it's got feet and adjustability and it's got these really nice long rubber pads to keep it stable. So for gaming, it's really got a very good aesthetic. It's got good functionality. It has good switches that aren't too wobbly. And it gives you it gives you the option to replace, you know, the keys here if you don't like the sound. So you can improve the sound just by doing that. Now, the downsides to this is that it is wired only. So for those of you who like wired and Bluetooth and all that, this doesn't come with it. If you want that 8K polling rate, you need to be wired. And I guess... A con could also be the sound, like it's not the best, but it's not the worst. So I, again, the slight wiggle on the switches, I suppose. The only really big con that, that needs to be fixed, like has, Apple Maker, please, you have to fix this. The software needs to have the fonts improved, like for a normal size window. Like I'm using, a, I have a 32 inch 4K monitor. There's no reason why it should be this tiny. You need to use the space better. Also in dark mode, it would be great if the keyboard went into dark mode too. So other than that though, like that's an easy fix on their end because the software works. So all they have to do is work on the UIX and I think we're good to go. We're off to the races. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I think this is a buy, but I don't know. I, I just think it's, I, you know, it's so crazy. It's key, these, these Hall effects are catching up. The software is catching up. Booting is still at the top, right? But man, there is a lot of keyboards catching up to booting. And that is great. And also in the affordable sector. So yeah, bravo. Good job. This is a good keyboard. So if you like the video, a like. If you hated it, dislike twice. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.